The big house stood silent, an eerie contrast to the usual roar that reverberates through its historic walls. 110,000 fans watched in disbelief, their faces a canvas of shock and confusion. The energy that had once electrified the air was now replaced with a heavy silence. Texas had done the unthinkable. They had marched into one of the most intimidating venues in college football and emerged victorious. They conquered the Michigan Wolverines on their own turf, a feat that many thought impossible. The Longhorns played with a precision and passion that left the Wolverines scrambling. The final score, a resounding 34 to 17, didn't even tell the whole story. It was a game of dominance, of sheer willpower and determination. This wasn't just a win, it was a statement. A declaration that Texas football was not just back, but back with a vengeance. Texas was back. The Longhorns had reasserted themselves on the national stage, reminding everyone of their storied legacy. The roar of the crowd had been deafening at the start. Michigan fans, clad in maize and blue, had filled the stadium with their chants and cheers. Michigan fans were ready for another dominant performance. They expected a win, confident in their team's ability to defend their home turf. Instead, they witnessed the rise of a sleeping giant. Texas, with a swagger and confidence not seen in years, seize control early and never let go. Texas, with a swagger and confidence not seen in years, seized control early and never let go. The Longhorns executed their game plan flawlessly, leaving the Wolverines struggling to keep up. The stadium, usually a sea of maize and blue, was dotted with a surprising amount of burnt orange. Texas fans had come in droves. Their presence felt both on and off the field. Texas fans traveled in droves. They had made the journey to Ann Arbor, believing in their team's resurgence and eager to witness history in the making. They knew this game was important. It was more than just a game. It was a chance to reclaim their place among college football's elite. It was more than just a game. It was a chance to reclaim their place among college football's elite. The Longhorns had a point to prove and they did so with every play, every tackle, and every touchdown. And reclaim it they did. The victory was not just a win on the scoreboard, but a triumph of spirit and determination. Texas had silenced the big house, and in doing so, they had announced to the world that they were a force to be reckoned with once again. This wasn't a fluke. It wasn't luck. It was the result of meticulous planning, relentless training, and an unyielding belief in their potential. Texas had been building towards this moment for years, laying the groundwork brick by brick, play by play. They entered the game undefeated, a testament to their hard work and dedication. Their previous victories were impressive, each one a stepping stone towards their ultimate goal. They dismantled Louisiana in the season opener, setting the tone for the rest of the season. They edged out a tough Arkansas team on the road, showcasing their resilience and determination. The win against Michigan, however, was different. It was a statement to the entire nation. This win was a declaration of their intent, a bold proclamation that Texas was back. Texas was not just aiming for a conference title. They were setting their sights on the ultimate prize. They had their sights set on something bigger, a national championship, a dream that had been years in the making. The victory over Michigan put everyone on notice. It was a wake-up call to the rest of the college football world. Texas was a legitimate contender. The confidence was palpable, radiating from every player and coach. It was evident in the way they played, the way they carried themselves, and the way they approached each game. This was a team reborn, a team that had rediscovered its identity and purpose. A team with a purpose, driven by a collective goal and an unbreakable bond. The taste of victory, especially against a program like Michigan, had ignited a fire within them. It was a fire that burned with the intensity of a thousand suns. The question now wasn't if Texas could compete for a national championship, but if anyone could stop them. Their momentum was unstoppable. The Longhorns were on a mission, a mission to reclaim their place at the pinnacle of college football. They were determined to prove that they were back to their winning ways, ready to etch their names in the annals of history once more. From the opening snap, Texas asserted its dominance. The energy in the stadium was electric, and the Longhorns fed off that energy right from the get-go. They controlled the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. The offensive line was a fortress, and the defensive line was an immovable object. 
the offensive line gave Quinn Ewers all the time he needed. Ewers stood tall in the pocket, scanning the field with the confidence of a seasoned veteran. The defensive line bullied Michigan's front. They were in the backfield on nearly every play, disrupting the Wolverines' rhythm. Ewers, the highly touted quarterback, had a career day. His precision passing and decision-making were on full display. He picked apart the Michigan secondary. His throws were crisp, and his reads were impeccable. He threw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns. Each touchdown pass was a testament to his growing prowess. But it was his poise and leadership that stood out. Ewers rallied his teammates, keeping them focused and motivated throughout the game. Ewers looked every bit the part of a future NFL star. His composure under pressure and ability to make big plays in crucial moments were remarkable. The running game was equally impressive. Texas's ground attack was relentless, wearing down the Michigan defense. Bijan Robinson and Roshan Johnson formed a formidable duo. Their chemistry and complementary styles kept the defense guessing. They gashed the Michigan defense for over 200 yards. Each run seemed to break the spirit of the Wolverines' defenders. Robinson, a Heisman hopeful, showcased his speed and power. His ability to accelerate through holes and break tackles was a sight to behold. He broke tackles and made defenders miss in the open field. Defensively, Texas was relentless. They played with a chip on their shoulder, determined to prove their mettle. They pressured Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy all game long. McCarthy never seemed to find his footing, constantly under duress. They sacked him four times and forced him into two interceptions. Each sack and interception was a blow to Michigan's hopes of mounting a comeback. The secondary was equally impressive, blanketing Michigan's receivers. They played tight coverage, making it nearly impossible for McCarthy to find open targets. In the end, Texas's comprehensive performance led them to a resounding victory. The team celebrated on the field, knowing they had outplayed one of the top teams in the nation. The fans erupted in joy, their cheers echoing through the stadium. It was a day to remember for Longhorn supporters, a testament to their team's hard work and determination. Coach Sarkeesian praised his players' effort and execution, highlighting the importance of teamwork and resilience. This victory was a statement, a declaration that Texas is a force to be reckoned with. As the team huddled together, chanting and celebrating, it was clear that this win was more than just a game. It was a defining moment, a glimpse into a promising future for Texas football. The victory was a testament to head coach Steve Sarkeesian and his staff. Sarkeesian, in his third year at the helm, had the Longhorns firing on all cylinders. His game plan was flawless. He exploited Michigan's weaknesses and put his players in positions to succeed. We knew we had to match their physicality, Sarkeesian said after the game. We challenged our guys all week to win the line of scrimmage, and they answered the call. He also emphasized the importance of mental toughness. We talked all week about handling adversity. Sarkeesian added. Michigan is a great program, and they weren't going to go down without a fight. Our guys showed tremendous resilience. Sarkeesian's words revealed a coach who had instilled a winning mentality in his team. This wasn't just about talent. It was about preparation, discipline, and belief. Texas was a team transformed, and Sarkeesian was the architect of their resurgence. The loss sent shockwaves through the Michigan program. The Wolverines, coming off back-to-back -back college football playoff appearances, entered the season with national championship aspirations of their own. This defeat, however, exposed some glaring weaknesses. The offensive line, considered a strength, was manhandled. The defense, usually so stingy, looked vulnerable. The post-game locker room was filled with disappointment and frustration. We got outplayed and outcoached, said a dejected Jim Harbaugh after the game. Give credit to Texas, they were the better team today. The Wolverines were left to pick up the pieces. They had to regroup quickly if they wanted to salvage their season. The loss to Texas was a major setback, but it wasn't insurmountable. However, the questions lingered. Could Michigan rebound from such a demoralizing loss? Could they make the necessary adjustments to compete for a Big Ten title? Only time would tell. The ramifications of Texas' victory extended far beyond Austin and Ann Arbor. The win sent a message to the rest of college football. Texas was back. 
The Longhorns, once considered a sleeping giant, had awakened. The victory shook up the national championship picture. Texas, previously unranked, entered the top 10. They were now considered a serious contender for the college football playoff. The win also had a ripple effect on the Big 12 Conference. The conference, often overshadowed by the SEC and Big 10, suddenly had a legitimate national championship contender. Texas's victory was a sign of a changing of the guard in college football. The sport was entering a new era, one where Texas was poised to reclaim its place among the elite. The Longhorns were back, and they were here to stay.